I'm loving this story today. Staff at Man United Football Club have been told by the new co-owner, Sir Jim Ratcliffe, that working from home is no longer an option. They've been given one week, it's until next Wednesday, to decide if they want to return to the office or they can resign and take voluntary uh, payment. Well, I'd love to know your thoughts on all of this. Do get in touch. Uh, 0344 is the number to call to get in touch. But let's talk to Jim White now, sports writer at The Telegraph, who joins us. Good morning to you, Jim. Morning, Julia. I mean, one thing about Jim Ratcliffe is he's very no-nonsense. I, I, frankly, I even love the fact that he apparently walked around the offices and then sent a memo saying people aren't tidy and clean enough. I'm with <laughs> him all the way. People are absolute scuzz buckets in offices these days. I would never have passed muster when I was younger. Um, I mean, he's right, isn't he? Get people back in the office, get that collegiate thing going, young people learning from older people, and get people focused and productive. Yeah, he's got a serious problem at Manchester United in that uh, this uh, apparently always used to be the club that defined profitability. It was the club that made money like nowhere else. Yeah. Well, not for the last couple of years. Um, they lost 115 million in the 2021 season and 25 million uh, last season. How? Um, how, so how do you lose money running a club like that? by paying far too much for second-rate players and then paying them far too much. Right. Um, Radcliffe's obviously into that as well. But there's new profit and sustainability rules around the Premier League where you're only able to spend money on team building if you make it elsewhere. And Radcliffe knows how to make money. Yeah. And one of the things he appreciates is that there's a lack of efficiency about the place, largely due to it being almost ignored uh, as long as the dividends kept coming in the previous owners weren't interested in really keeping it vibrant and really uh, at the cutting edge yeah. funnily enough one of the things that they've discovered is there's not enough desks for everybody because so many people have been working from home yeah. and so i i think they're hoping that a lot of people are taking they're very very keen to point out manchester united this is not voluntary redundancy no. it's voluntary resignation exactly but people are going to get they will get a, a small payoff but apparently they, according to their latest accounts the united employed 1112 staff as of last year and that's by far the highest number of staff uh, in among the premier league's big uh, big six clubs so they obviously they take just that bloated staff but this is the thing i don't understand why people don't want to work if you're lucky enough to work somewhere as sort of exciting and glamorous as man united why you don't want to be there and be around the buzz and 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 you know it just well, what's the point of working for man united if you're just sitting at home on your sofa all day <laughs> absolutely and i think that radcliffe has indicated it, it ain't going to happen anymore that's it there's no option uh anymore uh and i think a lot of people you know a lot of uh, a lot of young people now expect the option yeah, of being able to work from they're, home they're, they're um, setting the terms of employment now yeah, and, and Radcliffe is saying, no, that ain't going to happen here. We need to get this place more efficient. We need to get it tidier. We need to get rid of those mice that are running around the place. I'm, I'm, I'm um, loving it. I, so Jim Radcliffe, I want to come and work for you. I've worked for a number of bosses who've done the things like clean desk policy. I worked for one in a newspaper and the owner, and he basically worked in the office. It was an absolute pigsty, and it was. I have to say, the least productive people, the people who wrote the least for the paper, the people who had the messiest desks, by the way, and he basically said, you've got till the end of the week, anything left on a desk on the Friday will be put in bin bag and kept for you. Anything under the desk, anything on the floor, that all goes in the bin straight away. Oh, that, that focused minds. So we got rid of a whole load of rubbish and nonsense. But it, this is the thing, clean, you know, tidy desk, tidy mind. But, you know, going to the office, that's the key thing. Do you think other, other clubs are going to uh, follow suit? And do you think other workplaces are going to follow suit? Yeah. I think this profits and sustainability rules that is coming in is is, is really focusing minds in football. And and Radcliffe's doing uh, a, a lot of other things uh, around the place. He's been in charge um, about uh, six months now, and and he he's really applying laser-eyed business uh, rules yeah. uh, uh, around the place. Uh, and he's he's not going to have it anymore. Um, he's not going to buy second-rate players. Uh, I don't think they're going to buy any players. You know this. I think uh, he's expecting them to develop and bring on their own. And, you know, unless you're Manchester City, where you've got 
pockets yeah. deeper than the, the San Andreas Trench, then then I think other clubs are going to have to. They're going to have to follow it. suit. Um, Jim White, always so good to talk to you, sports writer at the Telegraph. I, I think you might be working from home today. I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. just part, don't just... have a look at my desk, Julian. No, no, I, I do not want to have a look at your desk. <laughs> Jim, great to talk to you. Thank you so much.